to say it's been a while for me not being on the Debartolo stage, but getting an update with you, Sean. It's been too long. It's been way too long. Yeah. And so we have some very exciting performances and events coming up. But before we talk about that, can we talk about the CC Winans concert? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like going to church. It was going to church. I mean, everybody in here didn't matter your denomination or anything like that. Everybody was just like kind of worshiping and praising God and just having a good time. It was great. She was fantastic. And she was just so delightful to work with, her, her and her team. It's so nice when you see someone on stage have such a warm personality mm -hmm. that it translates off stage as well. Oh, it definitely yeah. did. You could feel it in the atmosphere. Yeah. What was kind of cool as well is um, Ted Barron, the executive director of DPAC here, he, um, he came on stage and, and introduced her. But one of the things he said is, um, can we get an applause for if this is your first time here at DPAC, and there were a lot of people that this was their first time. Yeah, you know, we're, we're uh, trying a number of new initiatives to try and get more people who've never been here to come. Uh, we, we would love for our audience to look like the South Bend community, and these are small ways we're trying to do that. Well, I'm, I'm, that, it was exciting to see that because I know that's something that's been kind of a, a passion mm -hmm. for you all here at DPAC. So it's really nice to see it going forward. Exactly. You know, we were built to be this connection between the community and Notre Dame. That's why we're on the south end of campus. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really diving into deep on, on what that means. Mm -hmm. And it's through performances like that. Yeah, no, that was very exciting. Yeah. But also the presenting series. OK, I can't believe we're coming kind of to the tail end of it this semester, uh, exactly. but um, we have the President's Own U.S. Marine Band, and that's coming up in um, Thursday, October 26th. Correct. So, you know, uh, we often present some of the service bands. Um, it's a free concert. It's a, a duty they do to the country mm -hmm. to be able to present this, the, I mean, the highest quality of music. And so this year we do have the Marines coming, the President's Own Marine Band. Wow. Um, like I said, free concert. We'd love to see you there. And where is that going to be? Is it in the light? Uh, right here on stage. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, you have to help me pronounce this quartet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's Poiesis Quartet. Poiesis. Mm -hmm. um, and they are the gold medal winners of the Fish Off competition. So of course we host that competition mm -hmm. here, right here in this room as well. And then each year um, the winner of the competition is part of our series. And so on Sunday, October 29th, we'll be hosting them um, actually over at the Labar Recital Hall, which is just over at the music building across the parking lot. Oh, here. nice. Now the string quartet, wind, mm -hmm. qu oh, okay. Oh, sorry, string quartet. String yes. quartet, yep. yes, yep. okay. It's a string quartet. All right, lovely. Okay, now we're talking about the Cultural Collective Series. This this band is going to be, they're, they're part of the series. Exactly. La Locura? Correct. Okay. So, you know, um, as, as we we're just talking about CC Winans, um, we have this sort of new series as a way to uh, highlight not only national and international artists like CC, but also local community artists as a way to bring in new audiences to, to what we do here. Um, and that, that initiative is called the Cultural Collective. Mm -hmm. And the next two performances, La Locura and Orange Moon, are part of that series. So La Locura, um, they, sort of, they sort of bridge Latin and soul music together. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of what they, a lot of their concerts are a song in Spanish, um, of course English as well, and it's just really great fusion. I'm sure a number of your audience members have seen them around town. It's just really great that we get to present them here on stage. Absolutely, and then right after that is Orange Moon. Correct, correct. So this is something that Austin Gamage, who's our partner in, in these series, has been doing downtown for the past, I think, four years mm -hmm. annually. And so we, we've taken that um, with him and we're putting together, and it's, it's, a, it's an evening of sort of celebrating the, the creativity in the community because it's 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 music it's singers it's spoken word it's poetry it's a little bit of everything mm -hmm. highlighting just the breadth and talent in this community that's really great because there, there's so many talented mm -hmm. um, artists in our community it's great that they have an opportunity to stand on the stage here at the DeBartolo with so many um, national and international renowned artists. Yeah, and you know, a number of these local artists themselves have worked with national and international mm -hmm. artists. So it's, it's great that we get to highlight them as the sort of the main talent um, and just to show the rest of the community what is here locally. Yes, absolutely. Okay, Jane Lynch, yeah. that's, all, that's all we need to say. <laughs> exactly. So this was actually supposed to take place last year, mm -hmm. 
but there was um, a, an illness within the performers, so they couldn't perform last year, so we brought them back this year, and it's Jane Lynch and um, Kate Flannery, and Kate Flannery played Meredith in The Office, the redhead. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it's this sort of uh, variety cabaret show uh, featuring Christmas music, it's sort of in the vein of those variety shows in the 60s and 70s. Very nice. Now, yeah. it was sold out last yeah. year, so get your tickets Get early. your tickets now. They're almost sold out, so get them now. Okay. Yeah. All right, now Ricky's not with us. Where is I Ricky? I know, he's, he's out of town, I'm sorry. So I have to pinch hit for him, so I will do my best to sort of, you know, we have dozens and dozens of films, so I'll do my best to get through them here with you. Okay, so this is going to be taking place at the Browning Cinema Correct. here at the DeBartolo, but learning beyond the classics. So, Tell us a little bit. Yeah, about absolutely. That. This is an ongoing series we have where we take, uh, we open up the lecture lab screenings that the film students at Notre Dame are taking, and we open it up to the general public. Mm -hmm. So for two dollars a movie, uh, you can get a ticket, but you also have access to all of the um, the readings and the lectures and the discussions. And then uh, you just attend the film as if you were a student in, on uh, Thursday evenings at 6:30, mm -hmm. um, and and you get to learn and dive deep into all of these films. And so. So the next set of films are on the Vietnam War. So um, you're going to see big Hollywood blockbusters like Apocalypse Now and Coming Home and Rambo, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, but then some films outside of Hollywood, which are The Winter Soldier, Graves Without a Name, which is a Cambodian film, and a black exploitation film called Brotherhood of Death. So, you know, that sort of, that has created the series of the Vietnam War as mm -hmm. part of uh, this film, uh, Learning Beyond the Classics. Na Nanavik? Nanavik. Nanavik. So the Nanavik Institute on campus is an institute that focuses on European studies. Um, so these next uh, films, which are on Wednesdays at uh, 7.30, we sort of bounce around Europe for this next film oh. series. So it's Close to Vermeer, which is a documentary about the launching of a res retrospective of, of course, that Dutch uh, painting master. Um, and then we have a couple migration films, one from Romania, RMN, and then the other migration film about, um, uh, in, from Spain called The Beasts. And then we end with an Irish film called The Quiet Girl, which is really, we've shown that recently and it's, it's really a beloved film here um, on campus. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to let you. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, Professor Fink Finkelfunder's uh, Finkelfunder. kids movies. Okay. Uh, so this is on, uh, uh, Sunday afternoons at one o'clock for a dollar to get in, a dollar for popcorn and nice. soda. So it's for kids and families. Um, and we, of course, will be showing annually, like we do, Coco, always on the Sunday before Dia de los Muertos. Mm -hmm. We're showing that film. We're showing the film The Secret Garden, oh, um, which was, nice uh, there's a musical about that as well. So this is a little bit of a throwback. And then we have a sneak preview of the Trolls World Tour film. So before it's out to the public, we get to show it here. Really? Yeah. Do you, do you know the day that is? <laughs> you know what? Um, Get on the it will go be on, on yeah, exactly. It'll go be on the on website. Our website okay. Performingarts.nd.edu. Okay. To learn more about that. Oh my gosh! I think you have to prepare for a sold. Oh, sold, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sold out audience exactly. for that one. Okay. Now, now live scores. And yeah. I've been hearing a little bit about this in the community. Can That's you tell right. us what it's so about? So this is a partnership with the Music Village. Mm. Um, and once again, it's a way to connect with our local artists here. Um, and how can we give them more opportunities to perform? And so we have these, uh, you know, we have the ISU, IUSB uh, live scoring with electronic music. Uh, we have musicians Kevin Joyner, Vincenzo uh, Kasako and uh, Jason Richmond. Uh, they are performing for the Nosferatu 1922 silent film. Wow. Um, so when we say live scores, it's live music accompanying a film. Sometimes these scores are gonna sound like soundtracks and sometimes it's not so direct. It's a little more ethereal, um, and just sort of pays homage to the film, but it doesn't feel like the soundtrack. Okay. So, you know, we, we have a couple, uh, a few of these live score films throughout the semester, and they each kind of take a different flavor on how much it feels like an old fashioned live score film and how much, it, you know, it feels just more like an artistic um, experience with the film and the music together. Okay, one more, other things to look for. Finally, uh, we will be showing the, the blockbuster hit of the summer or the year, yes. Barbie. Barbie, wear your pink. <laughs> exactly, wear, wear your pink. pink. <laughs> wear your pink. Well, we, uh, Sean, I'm like, I'm missing Ricky here. But I Sean, know, so much. So <laughs> thank much. you so much for being with yeah, us. Absolutely. And again, for more information, you can always go on to experiencemichiana.org as well as performingarts.nd.edu. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Kelly.